Hello, fellow Switch players. Finally, yesterday, it was a surprise announcement that WWE 2K18 would be dropping for Nintendo Switch today. And we'd also be getting the rumored Deluxe Edition for Nintendo Switch as well, which um, previously was believed we would not be getting. So it is $59.99 for the regular game, $89.99 for the Deluxe Edition. The Deluxe Edition offers the Season Pass, which is a boatload of DLC, as well as other bonuses, such as the pre-order bonus. Um, so there are bonuses for pre-ordering. There's a collect, I think a collector's edition of this game as well that came with certain things. And the deluxe version gives you the season pass as well as those bonuses. So if you're really big into the game, the deluxe edition is a no-brainer. <laughs> Looking at the regular edition, there is quite a bit of DLC. Um, there's the season pass for 30 bucks, which gets you all of it. Or there are smaller individual packs you can get, such as the Cena Nuff Said pack. They gave you a couple versions of John Cena, Rob Van Dam, and Batista. Kind of odd to package those in with John Cena. Um, the My Player Kickstart pack, which is ten bucks. Okay, wait, see what happens here. Give you the uh, give your My Career Superstar the boost it needs uh, to succeed. Blah 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 blah. Very little detail in what the ten dollar pack is actually giving you. And uh, that's a concern because 10 bucks is quite a bit. Uh, 10 bucks could actually get you another game. So I'm not sure what the My Player Kickstart does. I probably should have looked that up to have that information available ahead of time, but uh, I didn't feel like it. So here's some more stuff. The uh, Accelerator Pack decides the overall rankings and attribute levels of every superstar and legend in the game. Unlock every superstar and legend, including alternate attires, etc. So basically what this does is it's kind of cheats for you. Instead of having to play through the game and unlock and earn everything, you spend five bucks and they unlock everything for you. You'll notice the file size is one meg. So all it's actually doing is unlocking your items. Then of course there's a the season pass, which is everything. Now these are only the ones available now. If you look further, you'll see there are more DLCs planned on coming out. They don't show up in the regular under the regular edition, but they show up under the digital deluxe edition. So here you'll see um, the new moves pack, the Kurt Angle pack, the Generations pack, the uh, Enduring Icons pack. So these are all um, more characters. It looks like the Rockers are in there, and the Hardy Boys, and Sable, and the Next Generations. I guess is some of the newer guys from NXT, which I've uh, never seen. Um, and this is what's more interesting is that's the moves pack. I don't know how much this is going to cost, but I'm hoping it's super cheap because some of these things I just feel like should, should be included in the game. But games today are very, very extensive. They require massive um, amounts of investment, massive amounts of staff and uh, creative people. Um, and a lot of these games are expected to live on long term. So... The fact that I guess they can make a few bucks by continuing to support these games um, and being supported in return by those who really enjoy it the most um, with 5 and $10 DLCs, uh, I'm kind of okay with that. So that's that. That's the WWE 2K18 and Deluxe Edition. They're available now. Go figure. Looks like a lot of fun. Someone get me a key, please. Get it. I'm waiting. You can get me the, the regular edition. It doesn't even have to be the Deluxe. I'll take a key for the regular edition. Bye. Oh.